I have an Iron Man. Look at him. Anyway, that's not. Oh, sorry, that's not why I'm here. I'm here to talk about two people. Okay. Um, I first want to give a massive shout out to my boy Lewis, Lewis Carnegie. Um, I met this guy when I started my uni course, and he's my boy. He uh, he has his own YouTube channel, which is why I'm doing this. He does. He has his own YouTube channel. And I'm giving him a massive shout out, basically because he hasn't put out any videos recently. I think the last one was YouTube Life. I think one of his last videos was a YouTube Life video. But there's a reason for that. And the reason for that, which he might tell you anyway, but I'm going to tell you now, is because he's working on his studio. Yes. Um, he started this a while ago, but it's nearly done now, guys. He's nearly finished his studio, which which is awesome. I've seen it. I haven't seen... I've seen how it's going. And I've seen the plans he's got for it and what he wants to do with it, and it's looking so cool. I'm sure he's going to tell you about this when he does come back, and he'll probably give you a, like a like a review and a recap of what, what's been going down in a vlog. But the guy puts so much effort into his videos; it's unreal. The amount of money he spent on equipment is just ridiculous. It's out of this world. His videos are great. He does a lot of gaming videos. He does the odd unboxing when he does pick something up. He does unboxing of his loot crates and, and whatnot. I know he's just—I know he's literally just recorded a video of one of his loot crate unboxings, so you'll be seeing that soon. I'm gonna leave a link to his channel in the description. If you could go check it out, see what you think, let him know. I know it'll mean the world to him. I know he'll really appreciate it. The guy's a partner with Freedom, uh, just like I am, and the majority of the things that come out comes out of his mouth is something to do with YouTube. And um, the guy freaking loves what he does, and he doesn't get enough credit for it. I mean, he puts more effort into his videos than I do, and the guy just needs a bit of support. So if you could go give him some love, it'd mean the world to me, and I know it'd mean even more to him. Okay, so my second shout out goes to an artist who goes by the name of Laura Schaefer. Um, I've recently just got back in contact with an uh, old school friend after many years, and throughout school I knew a lot of people that did art, a lot of people that were very good at art, much better than I have ever been. I can draw a stick man. Um, if anybody has me on Snapchat, they'll, they'll see the extent of my artwork, um, which is just colourful stick men. But, no, she's really good at what she does. I'm not an artist. I don't know a lot about it, so she's been teaching me and bringing me up to speed on what she actually does. At the time of making this video, she is at an exhibition in London. Okay? That just sounds pretty bog standard. She's gone to see an exhibition in London. But the catch is... Her work is in that exhibition, okay? Her work that she's done herself is in an exhibition in a gallery in London, okay? And to even just think about that for a second is, is, is pretty awesome. Um, so that's where she is at the minute. Again, I'm gonna leave a link to her website in the description. I really advise you to go check it out. Like I said, a lot of artists that I knew from school, very few of them actually carried on doing that through college and university, but that's what she has done. She carried it on through through school, through college, and through university. And there's a reason for that, because she's very good at what she does. And considering that she has her own work, you know, in her gallery in London, that kind of speaks for itself in the fact that she is very good at what she does. You know, not many people her age can say that, that, that that's, what they've, that's what they've achieved in such a short space of time. But yeah, I've seen a lot of her work, and there's even more so on a website that I haven't seen yet. And you know when somebody's being modest, when you look at something, genuinely believe that it is amazing, and they will still yet pick out flaws with it and say what, say that they don't like this. But yeah, so the artwork that's actually down in London now is for sale. So if you are watching this and you are in London, uh, I advise you to go check out her website, contact her if you do like what if you do like what you see, and you never know, you could be buying the offer. She does do commissions as well, so if you are wanting um, some form of artwork being done, then go check out our website, contact her, and see what happens. But you won't regret it, trust me. You can check out the website, um, bits of work that she's already done for other people, and what they've thought about it. Just let me give you a snippet of what she went through the last couple of weeks. Um, her work that's down in the exhibition in London is three pieces, three pieces of work that come together as one, and they are glass engravings. So it's a it's a square piece of glass, and she's engraved onto it. 
Now, the amount of times that I received a message from her of just rage and upset telling me that one of them had cracked again and again and again. The amount of money she must have spent on glass was ridiculous. But I've seen it in person and they are just amazing. Very talented artist, very good at what she does. And if you were to look at yourself, you would see that her work is just very different from what you might imagine. It's funny, I genuinely think her artwork is so good that you can even see from my phone lock screen and the home screen that I've got them on display. So, <laughs> home screen, I mean, doesn't that just, you look at that and think, oh, that's pretty cool. It's a cool wallpaper. And the same for that, it's like, oh, that's a really cool wallpaper. Like, but no. It's Laura's artworks. Forms of art that I hate in a gallery would be, you know, just smudges of colour or a picture of a chair or a table or something stupid like that, but yet it's selling for thousands or hundreds of pounds and people call that art. It's not art. What Laura does is art. It's very different, it's very unique, and it's not something that you will see every day. Go to her website, read the information that's there, you will understand a bit more background information about, about the kind of art that she does and the reason why she does it. I'm not just doing this because I know her, I'm doing this because the talent that she has needs to be spoken about, it needs to be shared, people need to know about it. So, please, go check out Lewis's YouTube channel, give him a subscribe, you won't regret it. His videos are funny, his videos are fun, his videos are different. Go check out Laura's website, look at, look at her artwork, see how different it is, see how unique it is. So those are just two little shout outs I wanted to do to give two different people a bit more recognition. That's going to do it for this short video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please, I beg you, go check out the links that I'm going to put in the description. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one.